as anti-Semitism spreads across, across American college campuses, especially in the once elite Ivy League. Harvard is now seeing a nearly 20% dip in early admissions applications in the wake of that. Yeah, and this, of course, as students and alumni alike call for University President Claudine Gay to step down after that disastrous, disastrous House testimony that we will soon never forget. Shabos Kestenbaum is a second-year graduate student at Harvard University, and he joins us now. Shabos, good morning to you. You know, when you apply to a college early, that means that it's your top choice, that you really want to go. And there's been a 17% drop in those kinds of admission, um, those applications. So why do you think this is happening? Do you think it's related to what's going on on Harvard's campus with anti-Semitism? Absolutely. Uh, the this ideology of racism was pervasive on American college campuses well before October 7th, but they were certainly brought to the surface after the attacks. Um, this ideology, which in very much is enabled by DEI, uh, creates this binary narrative where you are either an oppressed class or you are an oppressor. And in fact, there was a, a Harvard-Harris poll of 18 to 24-year-olds, and it found that 60% of young people found that the October 7th attacks could be justified uh, in accordance with Palestinian mm. grievances. 79% support the ideology that Jews are oppressors. And then what's remarkable is that 58% admitted that Hamas would likely commit another genocide. But get this, 51% still said that nevertheless, the state of Israel should be, quote, ended and its territory given to Hamas. So the American people are listening to this type of violent rhetoric, and they're saying, I don't want to be in this type of environment. So yeah. it's not a surprise when you have a president at the top who's advocating or enabling, in many instances, anti-Semitism. Sure. And I'm sure that you, although you're a second year student, I'm sure you're having second thoughts about why did I have to come to this place where uh, so many people have shown this uh, characteristic, the anti-Semitism, and it, it makes your life uncomfortable. And I know that, I, you know, from what we've looked at, Shabos, I would say a majority of your professors probably back the other side. And so if you are sitting in a classroom as a Jewish student, you got to wonder whether or not you're going to get a good grade or if you're if you're just going along to get along. Yeah, absolutely. So we know that the Harvard Crimson found that around 96 to 97 percent of all Harvard faculty identified as either liberal or very liberal. Uh, so to be a student and you don't necessarily have that ideology can be incredibly distressing. I also want to point out that I currently sit in a classroom with people who on their own personal social media they they glorify the events of October 7th. They say that Hamas was justified. These are people that we share classrooms with. These are people that we share study halls with. These are people that we're, we're, we're in a university with. And it's incredibly distressing to see that terrorism has found a place on American college campuses, and not just any American college campus, but Harvard, which is meant to be the bastion of morality, of ethics, of values that sort of sets the tone for the American electorate. And there's a significant amount of students who don't want dialogue, who don't want debate. They just want to see the destruction of the world's only Jewish state. Yeah, well, it's a terrible thing, a more than terrible thing that happened on October 7th. And it's unbelievable that more people can't recognize that. And the fact that you have to you know, sit alongside those those students that can't see a terror attack and, and condemn it for what it was. It's truly unfortunate, but you are so articulate. In my in my wildest dreams, would I want to rally off statistics the way you did, so you certainly have a bright future ahead. <laughs> Shabos, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your perspective. Have a great day. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.